Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, and little change of scenery today. Um, decided I was getting a little bit bored of the green screen, so I thought I'd just try filming at my studio desk. So you guys will have to let me know if you think that's cooler or if you like the green screen better, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Anyway, last fall I made a video called These Cheap Mini Pedals Are Actually Awesome or something like that. Anyway, it was just about some cheap mini effects pedals that I had discovered that I thought were really cool that I think you guys might want to know about um, and got super positive response from you guys and I got flooded with comments of effects that were not included in that list that you guys wanted to see some budget alternatives for. So um, we'll just consider this video part two. Um, these are the effects that you guys requested. So again, I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars. Let's get started. Okay guys, just real quick before we get started, I want to clarify, these are not the cheapest options available. These are just the uh, least expensive options that are actually usable, okay? These aren't just junk that TomTop sent me in exchange for a shout out. Um, these are carefully hand-selected pedals uh, based on the feedback that you guys gave me, that you guys wanted to see. So I picked all these individually. TomTop was nice enough to send them to me free for demo and review, so Huge shout out to TomTop, I appreciate that. Um, but again, they didn't just send me the cheapest pedals that they had. Um, these are carefully hand-selected pedals and they did send me some other pedals that sucked and I'm not gonna be reviewing or demoing those um, just cause I don't have time to make videos about mediocre pedals that leave something to be desired. So um, these are just the awesome ones. Uh, I requested these back in December, so I've actually had them for about six months. They've lived on my pedal board for six months. So I just wanted to tell you, I didn't just unbox these today um, to demo for you guys. Uh, I've actually been playing on these for a few months now, and I actually really like them. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, as always for these sound demos, I'm gonna be recording directly into Logic Pro as I always do using the small tweed amp simulation as well as this Focusrite Scarlett USB interface. Great little budget uh, recording interface if you're interested in getting into some home recording. Um, no effects on the amp simulation. So any effects that you hear are coming directly from these pedals um, just so you can get just a good comparison. Let's go ahead and get started. The first pedal that I'm gonna demo for you is actually a pedal that was a complete dud in my last video. Um, I don't know if you recall from my last video about cheap, awesome mini pedals. Uh, TomTop sent me this pedal and it did not work whatsoever. So they did promptly send me a replacement pedal, which was awesome. So I've actually had this pedal a little bit longer than the rest of these. Not only does this one work, it actually works really well. So I'll go ahead and show you up close here. Um, we've got our overall level, our wet and dry mix, and we've got our rate, um, and then, or sorry, time. And then down here we have a mode that goes anywhere between uh, room, and then spring, and then well. I'll go ahead and demo it for you. All right guys, so the first setting that I'm gonna demo for you guys today is just the setting that I use the most, and it's just a standard solid reverb for really just kind of wetting up your sound a little bit. So right here I have the time set to noon, I have the wet also set to noon, and then I'm using the room setting. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna play you some chords dry, and then I'll click on the pedal, play the same chords again wet, and you guys can hear what this pedal can do. setting is also really good for single note lines so if you were to play something kind of like this it was dry here's wet so pretty cool just really kind of thickens up the sound a little bit gives it a nice wet feel the next setting that I'm gonna demo for you guys I'm just actually gonna crank up the time and the wet signal all the way to max. This is the other setting that I use the most and it's really cool for some ambient volume swells and stuff, so I'll show you what I mean. So obviously that's without the reverb.
so again, super cool, really airy, really synth patty, great for like church music, also great for like some experimental stuff if you're into kind of those whale noises and things. So really awesome. Pair it with a good volume pedal, pair it with a delay pedal, and you just get just singing synth tones for days. Um, it's really beautiful. So there you have an awesome reverb pedal for just $35. Um, if you get one that works, my obviously my first one didn't work, but this one works and it works awesome. So um, pretty awesome for just $35. So now that we know that that one works, and I apologize, I know you guys waited a long time to see me demo that reverb pedal. So thank you for your patience. Um, but now we can move on to the pedals that you guys requested from my last video. So the number one most requested effect from my last video was a chorus pedal. So here we have the Moon Nano Chorus, and this pedal is super cheap at just $22. And um, in addition to having your rate and depth like you would on any chorus pedal, um, you also have this awesome mini toggle switch that toggles back and forth between normal in the down position and deep in the up position. So um, it's really cool for just flipping on the fly between just a normal gentle chorus and clicking into a deeper, more drastic chorus. Um, of course, you can get more drastic chorus effects by dialing in the knobs, but that's just a really quick way to toggle back and forth between settings. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and demo it for you. Okay, and for the rest of this demo, I'm actually gonna leave the reverb pedal on. I'm just going to turn the mode dial over to the well setting. Um, so it's gonna be a little less noticeable, but um, I do like to play with reverb and I've got a reverb pedal here, so I may as well. Um, but moving on to this chorus pedal, to demo this chorus pedal, I'm just going to leave the depth and rate set straight up at noon. And um, then we're gonna toggle back and forth between the normal and deep settings. So you can just kind of hear the difference between those two main settings um, and you can just kind of hear how the chorus just affects what you're playing. So again, just going to play through those chords dry first, well with some reverb, uh, and then I'll click on the chorus and you guys can hear the difference. <laughs> some little dinkly chords. A couple of criticisms for this pedal. Um, the mini toggle for normal and deep settings is awesome, but I just wish that it was a foot switch so that you can foot switch back and forth. But then of course it wouldn't be in this mini tiny enclosure um, if you had two foot switches. So that would obviously bulk it up quite a bit. My other criticism, I guess, is that this thing uh, kind of sucks out a little bit of the low end. And that's pretty typical of most chorus pedals, but some do it better than others. Um, so this one does um, kind of trade some of that low end uh, in exchange for the awesome like mid and high end sparkly goodness that this pedal has to offer. So um, this is not a good option if you're a bass player. You definitely need to look for a bass chorus pedal. Um, but for a guitar player, it works pretty good. Um, again, I wish that this thing was uh, foot switchable, but for $22, I mean, really $22 and you get this awesome effect. So um, I'm just being really picky here. So now we can move on to the next most requested effect from my last video. You guys really wanted to see a good budget friendly option for a tremolo pedal. So here 
I have the Rowan Trellicopter, and this thing is only 25 bucks, and it's an exact carbon copy clone of the Moore Trellicopter. So exact same controls, just three knobs. We got our depth, our bias, and our speed. And with those three knobs, you can dial in plenty of really funky sounding tremolo effects. Um, but personally, I think this pedal is best used uh, more subtly, so something like this. For this pedal, I'm just gonna demo it with the depth at one o'clock, the bias at three o'clock, and the speed at 11 o'clock. And obviously, I am not going to be using the tremolo on this because it's a tremolo pedal, so that would be completely pointless. So, here it is first dry. some just single note kind of picking through chords. see it really just thickens up the sound quite a bit. Um, I really like this pedal. It's pretty much the only setting that I use it on. Um, even if I'm doing like kind of upper register triads a little bit. Cool little pedal. Obviously, uh, you could go much more drastic with those settings. Um, it's called the Trellicopter for a reason. You can get crazy, like helicopter style tremolos. So, very cool little pedal, especially for the price. So, real quick change of scenery here. Um, I'm down on the floor. I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things before we move on to the other pedals. Um, some things that you should be considering when you're thinking about building up a pedal board with all of these awesome True Bypass mini pedals. Um, so the first thing that you should probably consider is getting a good clean line buffer. Okay, if you've never heard of what that is before, it's basically a tone saver. Um, because as you connect a lot of these true bypass pedals, if you don't have any pedals that are buffered, um, as you connect more and more of these, or if you're using really long cables to connect to your amps and stuff, your signal quality will degrade over distance. So what a clean buffer does is it gives you a slight boost and a slight edge on your tone to help combat that tone loss just a little bit. So um, this one here is literally called the Tone Saver Clean Buffer, and it is the cheapest clean buffer that you can get. And um, I highly recommend it. I was uh, considering when I was filming this, just played in one pedal at a time into my recording software, just so I make sure that I you know, preserve the tone the best as possible. But when I plugged in this clean buffer, I found that it was just as good running through this entire signal chain um, as it was just running through a single pedal by itself. So um, super worthy investment. You guys should definitely consider that. I would say if you're gonna be doing maybe four or more of these true bypass pedals, um, it would be a good thing to consider, especially considering the price. Um, I mean, you can't really put a price on good tone. Um, well, apparently you can because there are a lot of really expensive pedals and guitars and amps um, that get you just a little bit more tone. But um, this thing does really good for the money. So definitely a worthy investment. Another thing that you should consider, and these are things that I always forget whenever I just rush out to buy a new pedal. I'm so excited. I get home and I realized I don't have any way to hook it up because I don't have any instrument cables for it. And then I don't know how to power it because I'm using all my um, spots on my pedal power. So just some things to consider. I'll put the links in the description um, just for some good cables. These here are made by Planet Waves and 
It's a six inch instrument cable and lifetime warranty. Planet Waves is a reputable company. You get three of them for $9.99. As opposed to down here, these are monster cables that I bought back when I was making my living as a musician, and I could justify spending $40 on a six inch cable. Yeah, that's what those cost, 40 bucks a piece. Um, again, those are great, lifetime warranty. You just go to Guitar Center, they'll swap them out on the spot for you, which is awesome. But I'm poor now. So, well, I was poor when I was a musician, but I could justify it because I was making my living as a musician. Now, uh, I can't justify it. So, I buy these Planet Waves cables, one, two, three, got all three of them for uh, $9.99. So, link in the description for those. Um, and then this daisy chain right here, um, I have it just coming off of this uh, Boss tuner pedal, so, um, but you can buy a daisy chain that will connect directly to your standard nine volt power supply, um, and it'll power all of these uh, mini pedals. So definitely some things to consider. Um, maybe if you're thinking, oh, I like three of those pedals, I'm gonna run out and buy them right now. Well, it might be smarter for you to buy two pedals and a three pack of cables and a power daisy chain, as opposed to just running out and buying three pedals and not being able to run all three of them at the same time. So um, just something that I wanted to throw out there for you guys to consider, because uh, it's something that I always forget. So just wanted to give you a quick reminder. Okay, now let's get back to these pedals. Okay, now we're moving on to the next, next most requested effect from my last video. And you guys really wanted a good budget friendly option for a wah pedal. So here, we have the Moor Water pedal, and um, this is not the cheapest wah pedal on the market. Um, it's just the cheapest one that is worth having, in my opinion. So um, at about $67, it's only about $10 or $15 cheaper than the Dunlop Crybaby, which is kind of widely accepted as the best value wah pedal on the market. Um, but this thing still comes in a little bit cheaper, and it boasts some features that the Crybaby doesn't have. So firstly, look at the size of this thing. It's tiny. It's like the same size of any of these other mini effects pedals. So um, typically a wah pedal would take up a huge footprint on your pedal board. So not the case with this guy. So it's really compact. Um, another thing, it's super hefty, very heavy duty. It's built like a tank. You could stomp the crap out of this thing um, and it will take the abuse. Um, and then lastly, and this is a really cool feature, is that there's no actual like foot switch that you need to activate in order for the effect to come on. Um, it actually just senses your foot. So um, when your foot's not on it, it's true bypass, put your foot on it and the effect activates. And so you play with your effect as soon as you take your foot off back to true bypass. Um, I haven't had any issues activating it or deactivating it. It just knows when my foot's on it, which is pretty awesome. So um, it works really well. So check out how it sounds. Pretty freaking cool little pedal, uh, especially for the price. It's definitely, uh, tone-wise, I would say it's not quite as good as maybe a Crybaby, which is a similar price range pedal. So that's probably a better value if you're looking straight for tone. Um, but this one's certainly a better value if you're looking for, again, that compact size, super durable, built like a tank, and um, that awesome little uh, just foot pressure switching. You don't have to do any actual button activation. Just put your foot on it and it clicks right in, pull your foot off, clicks right out, true bypass and everything. So pretty cool little wall pedal. I've really been enjoying that thing. Okay, the last pedal that I'm gonna demo for you today that you guys requested from my last video is an EQ pedal. You guys wanted a good budget EQ pedal and I'm not gonna lie, that's the effect that I was the least excited to demo. Um, Cause why do you need an EQ pedal? You have an EQ built into your amp, right? Um, but it turns out out of all these effects, this is the one that I'm actually the most impressed by. So um, this is the Amun EQ7, and it's a seven band equalizer pedal, which means you got seven different frequencies that you can choose to boost or cut to manipulate your guitar's tone. I have never had an EQ pedal before, so I didn't really know what to expect, um, but it's really cool because it kind of 
uh, allows me to get kind of different guitar sounds out of my guitar. I know that sounds really profound, but I mean, like this is a Jazzmaster with P90 pickups, right? So, but with this pedal, I can make it sound more like a Telecaster or a Stratocaster. Uh, I can make it sound more like a Les Paul uh, just by changing the EQ. And because it's a pedal, you can click back and forth whenever you want. So it's not like you have to run back and change your amp settings. Um, so it's a really cool little pedal. Let me just show you the two settings that I've been using it for. Um, this first setting, it really just kind of brightens up the tone, kind of scoops out some of the mids, and it totally does. It changes this from like a mellow jazzy guitar into a super bright like Telecaster style guitar. So watch, check this out. And uh, I'm going to play for you my one country lick that I actually know how to play, um, and I'm probably still gonna botch it. But here, let's give it a shot. <laughs> That difference is like night and day. So I'm gonna go ahead and click over to my uh, neck pickup now. So some of those kind of bluesy rock licks that you guys hear me playing all the time. same way twice. Let me try that again. So you can see kind of more like a Stratocaster tone uh, in the neck pickup, kind of a Telecaster tone in the middle position, and then for the bridge pickup, I'm actually gonna change some settings down here on the EQ. So then you're playing your bridge pickup. turn this Jazzmaster into a Les Paul, but it does thicken it up quite a bit. So for $25, uh, really not bad to completely transform your guitar's tone with the click of a button instead of running back to your amp settings. So um, like I said already several times, I was more than impressed with this pedal. Um, so it turned out to be pretty cool. So thank you for requesting the EQ pedal. So now I can enjoy the wonderful world of EQ pedals. I'll probably buy maybe five more of these and then I can have my Telecaster, my Les Paul, my Stratocaster, my Jazzmaster, my Asacaster. A huge thank you to TomTop for sending me these pedals to review and demo for you guys. Now, um, I've only ever had really good experiences with TomTop. Um, of course, I have a YouTube channel, so they treat me really well. Um, and I've heard maybe 50 to 100 accounts of people that have per made purchases from TomTop um, that were satisfied uh, with how they were treated and handled. And um, I've heard of maybe two or three cases where people were not happy with TomTop. So if you guys are not having good experiences with TomTop, you need to let me know because if they're not a good company, I will stop promoting their products. Now, if you're a little hesitant to order from TomTop, I totally understand. I've put Amazon affiliate links in the description as well. You can buy them there. You'll just have to spend a little bit more money. TomTop definitely has the best price on these pedals. So uh, best price, TomTop. And again, let me know in the comments how TomTop is treating you guys. And are there any other effects pedals that I haven't covered? Do I need to make a volume three of cheap, awesome mini effects pedals? Um, if there's any pedals here that are any effects here that I didn't cover, uh, let me know in the comments as well. And I will see what I could do to find good budget value options for you guys. So as always, I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next week, maybe. I feel like making a video next week.